happen now. Yes, recording now. All right. So uh, this question, is it okay? The Bible says, ask and it is, and it is given. Is it okay to pray for specific things? And it's actually a, a really brilliant question because it brings into play quite a lot of things. That there's the difference of, of the person who's asking the question where they are in their spiritual evolution uh, and what level, you could say, what level are they in their development of their spiritual consciousness? Um, so, and uh, also ask and it is given, you know, um, at, at certain, you know, one of the things to ask with ask and it is given, just on a more practical note, is what is the, what is the intention and motivation to ask something of the divine? That which asks the divine for something, what is the intention and motivation? So usually um, when one is asking the, the divine or God for something, um, it's one of the things, it's dependent on the context of where one is in the spiritual journey. And I would say, you know, this thing of duality um, and, and the idea that there is not enough. Yeah, let's talk on this. There's the idea that there's me, spiritual seeker, in separation from God. And there is a lack in my life, which I need to um, ask divinity, ask God to provide. For example, um, there seems to be financial struggle at the moment. It could be hypothetical, I'm making up. There could be financial struggle. And, um, and I pray, pray to God for abundance and prosperity. Um, and, uh, and because there's fun. And, you know, um, I'm actually, um, because it's, you know, I'm just spending so much time writing this article for A Course in Miracles magazine on I'm affected by my thoughts, or, um, you know, my favorite uh, course teacher, Dr. Hawkins, um, um, you know, we can, I cancel my beliefs. I'm an infinite being. And this idea, I mean, it would be quite interesting. Like, for example, if a spiritual seeker was feeling a lack and um, they had the thought that it would be nice if there was more financial abundance and prosperity, for example. So one is, um, I think, is it right or wrong? Well, I think it, it's dependent on the, on the, where the spiritual student is and what their motivation is. And I think sometimes you know, they're inspired to do that. And that's the right thing to do at, at a certain level of consciousness because it is the right thing. So yes, definitely can be the right thing because it is being inspired. Um, when the ego is coming in, the, the motive and intention of this is often uh, more like a Father Christmas uh, God, like um, I want some new Nike trainers for Christmas and, uh, and it'd be quite nice if my Bitcoin investment went up 100% for Christmas as well, God. So if you don't mind, you've got some time. So it's, it's really coming from the thing. Anyway, so yes, can be correct. But I just ask wherever you are, if you're asking the divine, what's, is it coming from ego or is it coming from um, uh, a more inspired place within? Um, at higher levels of consciousness, now, on a practical note, like I do, is I'm always trying to fish out what are the thoughts that I'm holding in mind that have probably contributed to this experience of lack. So let's say it's financial lack. I experience financial lack right now. Um, I probably have thoughts which I've been holding in mind and which, you know, consciously or unconsciously, which are manifesting, like, you know, I can't afford to pay the rent this month, for example. So, I think one of the things, um, if this is an area that my ego thinks it needs to clear, is to do a bit of investigation. You know, how am I contributing to what seems like um, a lack of abundance and prosperity showing up in, in life? Am I holding any limiting thoughts or negative thoughts in mind? Mm, uh, did I pick up from my parents, uh, from watching TV, from the human collective? As it says in, in lesson 14 of A Course in Miracles, I have my personal beliefs and there are the collective beliefs that I pick up from the collective of humanity. So have I picked up my family beliefs around money and, and scarcity? Have I, uh, you know, like um, 
uh, you know, my dad has quite a lot of financial stuff going on and I have similar thoughts to my father, you know, society. I mean, I worked in the stock market. I picked up quite a lot of beliefs around money and greed. So how is this stuff, um, you know, uh, on um, another level, do I see, other, you know, is there, is there some belief systems in me where I go into a predatory nature around others? I mean, I have done in the past, you know, and so that would mean that I see a scarcity. I've like um, been dishonest around money in the past. So this thing might be showing up. So I need to clear those thoughts and the ramifications of those thoughts that I'm holding in mind um, the, the, around money and how I see others and myself and my actions and thoughts in the past will give me clues to what I need to clear in my thinking around money. I'm just talking about money because that's the example. That, so is it okay to do this thing, pray to God for what, what you want? You know, often um, I really like what Hawkins said, uh, in the interest of the highest good. And I think when, you know, like for example, in a 12 step group, um, when the alignment, uh, you know, when it's coming from a certain level of spiritual development, like God, it'd be nice if I had enough money so I can do your work and help others find the truth. Um, then, you know, I mean, it's, 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 it's quite a high intention to be able to be, um, to be able to be a conduit of the divine. So, is weeding out. But you know, if something's like that showing up, I mean, I personally would also, apart from praying to God for more abundance and prosperity, is I would look at what thoughts I'm holding in mind, what family beliefs, what collective beliefs around finances I'm holding in mind, and either cancel them, like I cancel my belief in, um, in uh, that I should always hold money. I'm an infinite being, because there isn't enough. I'm an infinite being subject only to what all the of Course in Miracles, Lesson 14. God has not created a scarcity of money, so it's not real. I mean, my perception is saying I can't, for example, afford the mortgage to, uh, you know, but that's what my ego is seeing at the moment. And there seems to be a reaction. So it seems like I need more financial abundance. So for some reason that seems to, that scenario has seemed to show up in my perception. So how can I clear this? One of the things, if it's showing up or it's bringing any fear or limiting thoughts, that there is a requirement for more, uh, financial abundance, so we say, then it's like um, God has not created um, an inability to pay the mortgage. So it's not real if that was showing up because it hasn't, because that perception, you could say that's one way of deleting the ego perception that there isn't enough abundance. And sometimes when all the belief systems and thoughts, all the duality that the ego is holding around finances are, are deleted, then, um, you know, in my experiences, abundance and prosperity arrives in, in miraculous ways. I had this thing, I was helping someone, I was mentoring someone in a sort of 12 step uh, capacity. And, um, you know, and I put the forgiveness thing, because you can do that in 12 steps, you know, to forgive everything in the environment, because she was unhappy with the accommodation, her, the person she had to live with this rented accommodation and she cleared it and um and then it was like as soon as she cleared it and it didn't bother her it was like uh, the universe provided her with sort of it's like someone said like well we have a, we have a huge property and we're not using it for a couple of months can you uh, look after the cats and she got moved into like a, a sort of a well i'm exaggerating a bit to call it a mansion but it's like the miraculous arrives once you clear the junk uh, quite miraculously and effortlessly. So I don't see anything wrong. I mean, even if you like go, I mean, uh, you know, things like, uh, can I win the lottery? Can I get the lottery ticket <laughs> by tomorrow? I think maybe one's going, uh, what's the intention on that? Uh, but, you know, in, is it in the interest of the highest good, what you're asking for? Um, uh, well, what's the motivation for it? Are you holding anything in mind that is limiting? Are you seeing a lack? I mean, what's showing up in your mind that if you perceive that you need to ask something, can you clear it? Because God hasn't created any lack anyway. Or is there a belief that more is required? Um, with the energy of um, desire or craving, uh, where there is a, a separate entity wanting or craving something that seems to be in lack at this moment, can one clear that? Because that's really doing some deeper work to clear the the idea that there's a separated ego that needs to ask the divine for, for something that's that seems to be a pain 
um, you know, deeper, deeper questions at high levels. Of quite, who, who, who am I? What am I? What thoughts or feeling of separation am I from the divine that needs to request the divine for something more in this moment? Um, you know, so that's when we're getting to high levels of consciousness. You're trying to dissolve the idea that there is a separate me that needs to uh, ask the divine for anything. Um, because and the duality of the idea that there is a separate me and the divine starts to collapse into you could, of course the miracle would be the holy instant or non-duality as non-duality teachers would say um asking asking the divine i mean um uh, i think i i think i've um talked a lot on that so i shall shut up